This is top 30, 30 stories in 30 minutes. After hitting a peak in March, national gains in housing prices have been slowing down. This doesn't mean prices are declining, rather they appear to be stabilizing. But certain markets like Southern California and Washington DC are still seeing massive increases. And as millennials enter their home buying years, experts are predicting housing affordability will play a bigger factor in overall sales. The only problem is that there are very few affordable homes actually being built. Lawrence Yum, chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, said, we're not getting the transactions on the lower end because there is virtually no inventory on the lower end. Rents and housing prices have outpaced incomes in recent years, meaning millennials have found it harder to save for a down payment. People have literally died trying to make it to Black Friday sales. But there's no need to make shopping a life or death situation. We here at Top 30 have compiled some Black Friday hacks so you can get the best deal with the least amount of stress. For one, use social media to your advantage. Many brands advertise coupon codes on their social media accounts, so make sure you follow your favorite brands across all platforms. Also, turn on notifications on your shopping apps so you can be alerted about upcoming deals. Two, check the website site camelcamelcamel.com. Yes, the word camel three times in a row. To watch out for fake deals, just copy the URL of an Amazon product into the website search engine and it'll pull up the entire pricing history of the item. Number three, shop local. Many small electronic or hardware stores will match or beat prices advertised by larger companies on Black Friday. So give them a call and find out. And of course, prepare for your busy day of shopping by getting a good night's sleep and packing snacks. According to the French Agriculture Ministry, wine production in France will fall 19% this year, the lowest since 1957. Based on data from the Ministry and the European Union Statistics Department, these numbers are caused by yet another year where a freeze has destroyed spring buds. The Bordeaux wine regions were hit hardest, with volume falling 39%. According to Bloomberg, the Champagne regions saw a decrease of 9%, but producers like Moet and Chandon keep reserve stocks for such occasions. France is usually in competition with Italy for the world's biggest wine producer, but the damage from this year's frost, drought and hot weather means Italy is on pace to outperform France. Thanksgiving means great food and even greater leftovers. But turkey sandwiches can get a little boring after a few days. So we found some of the yummiest and most creative Thanksgiving leftover recipes to make the most of your turkey day scraps. One, turkey pot pie. This might sound complicated, but it's really not. Toss some turkey and vegetables in a casserole dish and drape some store-bought pie crust on top. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. It'll be ready by the time you're done watching this show. Two, turkey and cranberry barbecue pizza. Mix together cranberry sauce and barbecue sauce and then spread it over pizza dough. Top with shredded turkey and cheese. Bake at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Three, this wouldn't be a Thanksgiving leftover list without at least one sandwich recipe, but with a twist. A grilled turkey and brie sandwich. Yum! Put some turkey, brie, arugula, and apple butter between two pieces of rye bread and grill it up. These day after recipes will give your Thanksgiving feast a run for its money. Here is your top 30 health roundup. Researchers at the University of Cambridge have identified the key chemical in the brain that allows us to suppress unwanted thoughts. Lead researcher Dr. Michael Anderson said, our ability to control our thoughts are fundamental to our well-being. When this capacity breaks down, it causes some of the most debilitating symptoms of psychiatric diseases. Researchers found the neurotransmitter GABA inhibits the recall of unwanted thoughts in the hippocampus. That's the part of the brain that stores memories. And they hope their research offers a new approach to tackling mental health disorders. Next, a report released by the Inspector General's Office for the Department of Health and Human Services claims faulty heart devices cost Medicare $1.5 billion. Defective pacemakers and cardio defibrillators affected 73,000 patients who paid $140 million in out-of-pocket expenses. And the report said medical device recalls have doubled from 2003 to 2012 and have likely cost Medicare billions of dollars. And last, Australia has had a particularly nasty flu season and health experts are saying the US should brace for the same 
However, Australia only recommends that children and the elderly get an annual flu shot, whereas in the US, the CDC recommends everyone over the age of six months gets vaccinated. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said this year's flu vaccine is well matched for the strain expected to circulate. Nonetheless, make sure that you get your flu shot. Butterball Turkey wants to make a change to your phone. A Thanksgiving turkey emoji. According to Butterball, the need for a Thanksgiving turkey emoji arose when responding to over 8,300 texts last year. The experts who respond to the cooking questions typed out the words turkey or frozen turkey over 5,000 times. And while a live turkey emoji was added in 2015, it doesn't exactly help get the point across. So the company has started a petition through change.org titled Make the Thanksgiving Turkey Turkey emoji. As the petition states, every other major holiday has at least one emoji. There's champagne and noisemakers for New Year's Eve, Cupid hearts for Valentine's Day, ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween, and so much more. But Thanksgiving, the most celebrated holiday in the country, doesn't have an emoji that truly captures the occasion. We'll see if Unicode, the people who create emojis, respond to the petition, but in the meantime, looks like you'll just have to be creative. According to an Australian study, binge-watching television is killing you. Published in the Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise, the study links excessive TV watching and increased risk of death. The research began in 1999 before streaming services like Netflix and Hulu existed. 18 years later, investigators have concluded that each additional hour of binging telly past four hours increased the risk of inflammatory-related death by 12%. Examples of inflammatory diseases include diabetes, asthma, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's, all the big ones. The authors found that those who watched more than four hours of TV a day had twice the risk of dying compared to those who watched only two hours a day. I'd quite like to die in front of the television. It's a perfectly good way to go. So in many ways, this study is good news. Just because you have rich parents doesn't necessarily mean you are in for a big inheritance. A handful of super wealthy celebrities have spoken out about how they don't plan to leave their kids all of their money. George Lucas, Mark Zuckerberg, Simon Cowell, and Gene Simmons have all said at one time or another that they will leave their kids a bit of their fortune, but most of it will go to charities and education. Bill Gates said, it's not a favor to kids to have them have huge sums of wealth. It distorts anything they might do creating their own path. Cookbook queen, the excellent Nigella Lawson, plans to cut her kids out of the will completely. She said, I am determined that my children should have no financial security. It ruins people not having to earn money. Having a dog is great, but there are a lot of work. Things like yanking on the leash or impromptu potty breaks can be frustrating. But the problem isn't your dog. It's you. According to Better, Tyler Ullman, a dog trainer in Louisville, Kentucky, says in order to fix a problem at the lower end of the leash, you have to look at who's holding the other end. Ullman said if you're barking commands and your dog isn't listening, try being more patient and give them time to process the command. Likewise, if your dog pulls on the leash, you're going to need to invest the time to teach them how it works, which means stopping and recalibrating whenever they pull. One of the leading causes of canine death is obesity. So if your dog's a beggar, stop indulging them and establish firm food boundaries. When you accept the responsibilities of being a dog owner, training gets easier. It's no secret that America has become obsessed with pumpkin spice. We can get our favorite spice in many forms, but a new product, the pumpkin spice spray, will allow us to turn any item into an autumnal treat. The pumpkin spice spray is available through World Market and Amazon, and it's just the latest item to add to our seasonal obsession. According to the most recent data from Nielsen, the pumpkin spice market is worth over $360 million, with sales of pumpkin-flavored foods in the U.S. growing by nearly 80% between 2011 and 2015, helped in large part by Starbucks, who, according to Fortune magazine, has sold over 200 million pumpkin spice lattes. In fact, by 2014, 37% of U.S. consumers purchase something pumpkin flavored. But despite all the fun new options popping up, pumpkin pie filling is still the leader in the pumpkin market with $135 million sales in 2015. It looks like the pumpkin spice trend is here to stay. Your mailman is keeping secrets from you, but we're here to fill you in. 
Did you know you can tape change to an envelope in place of a stamp? Crazy, right? But that doesn't mean you should do it. Your mail carrier then has to wait in line to buy you one just like everybody else. Number two, it takes machines much longer to read envelopes that aren't white. So just because it's Christmas or Valentine's Day doesn't mean you should use a red envelope. Number three, ink from felt tip pens runs in the rain. So grab your nearest ballpoint and ensure your mail gets to the right place. Number four, don't forget about your mailbox when you're out shoveling. Mail carriers are in instructed not to deliver if there's snow or ice in their way. Number five, if you're sending media, videos, books, scripts, asking for media mail can save you some cash. For example, sending 10 pounds of books costs almost $25 for standard post compared to $6.95 for media mail. Who knew? Now the secrets are yours to tell. In today's hometown stories from Fox 46 Charlotte, Phyllis Bryant had lived most of her 56 years hearing only muffled sounds, but a coupon for a free hearing test with specialist Bill Beck gave her a new lease on life. In the appointment, Phyllis learned her hearing could get worse if nothing was done, but she couldn't afford hearing aids. So Beck encouraged her to write the Belltone Hearing Foundation for help. And they responded, providing Phyllis with a free set of hearing aids. Thankful, Phyllis said, they've made a world of difference in my life. Our next story from Fox 13 Tampa is about a day of beauty for a very special girl. Bella spent a majority of her childhood in the hospital fighting a pancreatic disease. But a surgery a year ago has left her feeling better than ever. To celebrate, the Make-A-Wish Foundation set up a party for Bella and her friends at Party in Style in Carrollwood, Florida. Nails, hair, and even a fashion show. Instead of medical treatments, she's getting the star-studded treatment. And for our final story, Officer Gary Littlejohn of the Newton, Kansas Police Department is helping his community enjoy the holidays. He told Top 30, I wanted to see if I could help a few of our families that really could use the assistance. Together with friends, businesses, and the Harvey County Sheriff's Office, they formed the First Responders Holiday Helpers. They provided Thanksgiving dinners for 36 families and hope to do the same again this year. To learn more, go to the Top 30 Facebook page. Think about how many times a day you use keys, credit cards, and passwords. A company called Token has created a ring that will replace all of those and allow you to open doors, make payments, and gain access with just a wave of your finger. The ring can be paired with anything from car keys to access codes to train passes using a built-in fingerprint scanner and their app. Token co-founder Melanie Shapiro said Token allows you to prove who you are from your front door to your office to the grocery store while simultaneously protecting your information with advanced cryptography. And if you lose your ring, you won't lose your information, just the $249 starting cost. The device will only work with the fingerprint of the original user. Quite whether this has a long life, who knows? Because it is a good idea, but it's not as good an idea as facial recognition technology, which is about to take off. What separates your LinkedIn profile from one written by a Fortune 500 executive? The online grammar checker Grammarly studied profiles of workers at top tier companies and they made four key findings. Your profile summary is one of the first things people see, but only 42% of entry level employees fill it out. That number is higher for managers and directors. Embellishing your profile isn't a great idea, but higher paid workers do tend to write more. Experts say you should play up your accomplishments as long as they're legit. Junior employees receive fewer recommendations, but they also give Less. Directors gave more than 20 times the amount of recommendations. Research shows that the more referrals a user gives, the more they receive, which looks good to recruiters. And as always, language matters. Execs were more likely to use business terms. The five most used terms on their profiles were leader, strategic, solution, innovative, and ROI. For more innovative strategic solutions, keep watching Top 30. When he was 10, Henry Berner from Carnation, Washington started a company making magnets, lanyards, and buttons. Now, four years later, it's worth over $2 million. Henry started his company, Buttonsmith, as a fourth grade project. His trinkets were such a hit at school, he asked his mom if he could make real money from his idea. He started selling his products at farmer's markets, and it was a hit. So he decided to launch his own store on Amazon, and that's when things really took off. Henry's mom and Buttonsmith CEO, Darcy Berner, said, 
said, we looked up one day and we had sold a quarter of a million dollars worth of stuff on Amazon. And we were like, uh, it's a little bigger than we thought it was. Henry's customizable products and technological efficiency gives Buttonsmith its competitive edge. It helps them fill orders quicker and cheaper than their competitors in China. His products are now sold at 1,600 Walmart stores, as well as on Walmart's website. This year, Buttonsmith is expected to have about 150,000 customers and gross more than $2 million. And Henry only misses school for very important meetings, like with Walmart. Athletes are multimillionaires, and some of them use that cash to make lavish purchases. Shaquille O'Neal spent a million dollars on the day he signed his first professional contract. That included a Mercedes for him, two for his parents, and a lot of jewelry. Mike Tyson bought three white Bengal tigers for $70,000 each, but it cost another $200,000 to feed them, and the trainer was $125,000 extra. Michael Jordan travels in style on his personal jet, that he bought for $30 million. That's just a drop in the bucket for the billionaire who recently decided to go with the elephant print paint job. NBA player Al Jefferson wanted to make sure that he got a good night's sleep. So the six foot 10 inch center invested $23,000 in a bed that's 10 feet by 12 feet. Not everyone does it that way. Shortly after quarterback Joe Flacco signed a deal for more than $80 million, he decided to hit the drive through and get a 10-piece McNugget meal with an iced tea. So the headline of this story is that buying a Bengal tiger is an excellent investment. A home in Switzerland is being built using robots and 3D printing, but no people. Researchers at ETH Zurich have designed a three-story house that will be built with robots and 3D printing. The team calls it, quote, the first house in the world to be designed, planned, and built using predominantly digital processors. It starts with a six-and-a-half-foot robot. It's equipped with caterpillar tracks and moves completely autonomously. It's also dustproof, waterproof, and connected to the internet. The robot bends and welds steel to form walls. Those later get filled with concrete. A ceiling will be created with 3D printing. Another team of robots will assemble the second and third stories of the home. It is scheduled to be completed in the summer of 2018. When it's done, it will be used for further testing and to house guests of the college. The goal of the project is to make building homes more sustainable and efficient and to test smart home technologies. But in the future, it could reduce the cost of housing and cut down on energy bills. Whilst that's good news if you're going to be buying a home, it's not good news if you're a builder. We've all been there. Thanksgiving dinner is over and you feel sleepy. And forever we've heard it's tryptophan's fault, the amino acid that's found in Turkey. But what if I told you that was an urban myth? Yes, it's true, tryptophan doesn't actually make you want to take a nap. While it is true tryptophan is a natural sedative, you would have to consume large amounts of it on an empty stomach for it to put you to sleep. It would also need to be eaten with little to no protein accompanying it, since protein limits its absorption into the bloodstream. And of course, turkey is a protein. The things that are more likely causing your drowsiness are drinking alcohol and eating too many carbs. So you can take that turkey day nap, just don't blame it on the turkey. Tesla is looking to disrupt a new industry, convenience stores. The car maker says it will add food, restrooms, and other amenities to its network of supercharger plug-in sensors. The mock-ups shown at a recent tech summit look much more like the convenience stores you now see at gas stations. Unlike conventional cars that take just a few minutes to refuel, owners of all-electric Teslas spend 20 to 30 minutes at superchargers. That is enough time to get about 170 miles worth of battery power. But it doesn't let drivers do much else. Many of the stations currently sit in parking lots or garages with no other services around. Tesla says the plan will improve the experience of owning and driving an electric car. It could also help their profit since it lets many drivers use supercharger stations free of charge. Maybe it will also help owners forget that if they were driving something that didn't use batteries, they'd already be back on the road. Some Asian airlines are actually pumping scents into the cabin to make passengers more at ease during their flights. A company called Scent Air is developing the fragrances used in flight. A spokesperson told CNN that a good smell on board can enhance the airline's brand, boost onboard sales, and provide passengers with an enhanced sensory experience. I'm not sure there's any smell that will mask the scent of a jam-packed plane flying across the country for five hours. 
Thank you for watching. You can catch up with past episodes of Top 30 now on Hulu. You can also download the Top 30 mobile app and visit our website. We want to hear from you, so connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Like, follow, and subscribe to at Top 30 TV for interviews and exclusive web content. We will see you next time on Top 30.